everyone, so today I'm going to finally be filming my Dark Mori haul, which has been a long, long time coming, I know. I was inspired by this new-ish YouTuber, her name is Rainbow Vera, she's down below, she did a haul and I was like, you know, I should probably get mine done too, because um, I know I keep talking about it, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do a haul, and then just weeks go by and I don't do anything, so. Um, anyways. It's going to be kind of a long video, I have a lot of stuff to show you because it's basically my entire wardrobe. Um, I'm going to also be filming like a lookbook, which if you guys have seen my older video, uh, Forest Girl Fashion, that was kind of like in the winter, this is more fall, -ish. I don't really know how to explain it, but well, there might be some of the same stuff, there might not, I have a lot more new stuff, so keep an eye out for that, that'll probably be closer to when school starts, because I have a lot going on in the next week. My boyfriend's leaving for college, so we got to get them all you know, packed and all that, so, ha ha ha, um, um, so this video, again, is going to be really long, I will link all the times below to, like, each segment, uh, some are very short, some are very long, most of them are pretty long, and, yeah, basically, that's it. So, the first segment, I guess, is going to be literally the shortest one. It's like two things. Um, these are pants. In Dark Mori, which is, um, I'm going to kind of explain it, I guess, as I go. It's a Japanese fashion which centers around uh, creating a forest-like aesthetic. So, for the most part, it's in Japan, the Mori girl uh, it dresses in very light cream colors, browns, very, f I love it, I think it's gorgeous, I can't pull it off because I don't really look super great in light colors, um, that's just me, I don't really like to wear them, but, um, I know coming over to America, at least, especially on Tumblr, and Europe too, um, I've seen people who have made it into a dark mori, a dark mori, you know, like, it's one thing, um, dark mori, which is, like, they took the aesthetics from Mori Girl, like the light colors, but instead of having um, browns and creams, they use blacks and grays. I love that. I think it's awesome. And with that look, you kind of get like this witch look, and you know, that's, that's me. <laughs> uh, so, for the most part, it's layers upon layers of skirts and dresses and pants and big, awesome A-line dresses and shoes and, and leggings and cardigans. It's awesome, and I'm, I'm just... I'm in love with this fashion sense. It's it's beautiful. It's wonderful. So first things first before I start rambling on per usual, is these are the pant portions. I mean I'm probably gonna get a few more pairs of pants because of what I do in my drama department, which is um, like helping out backstage, moving stuff. And I also do costumes and I do makeup because I use surprised. Um, so I have these like pants, red tribal-ish pants. I normally wear like shorts and tights if I need to do some things. I don't like wearing jeans because I feel very constricted. If I do have to wear jeans, I have like two pairs. I don't actually have any blue jeans. Surprise, surprise. And then the second pair of leggings I've had, these I've had for a while, and you've probably seen these in another fashion video, but they have little skulls on them that are like floral-y, and some have little stars on their foreheads, and I got these for, I think, a Christmas gift. These are both from Charlotte Russe, which is actually, I was really surprised. Um, a lot of my stuff actually has come from Charlotte Russe. There's some really, I, there's some nice pieces that you could dress up. This, this skirt actually is from Charlotte Russe. Um, this with like the paneling and the shorts. Really fun skirt, um, but too summer and not appropriate for school. We have kind of a strict dress code, so that's fun. Um, apparently though it's not as strict as other schools. I've heard like some people are like, oh my gosh, I wish I could dye my hair. Like, schools don't let you do that. I don't know. We have a new principal who's kind of strange and limits us, but you know what? Senior year, I'm doing whatever the hell I want. I just, this isn't school appropriate and people look at my butt all the time. So that's not something I really want to have happen. So now that that short segment is over, we're going to get on to the longer, more complicated stuff and the stuff that really I love and things that I love and I feel like express my fashion sense. Um, these are the jacket, this is, these are the jackets. Um, for the most part I have a lot of really gauzy things at the moment because I bought these for summer. So this one is like this gauzy, I don't know here, I'll put it on I guess. And it like hangs down and it, it 
has this really great movement in the back you see it does this thing um, this I got at a thrift store that's near our house or near, near my house our house as if all of us on the graveyard lived in one house can you imagine that like if we all lived in this one like haunted mansion that'd be super cool um, but it has again like a tribal it's like lacy and has holes in it I love this piece one of my staples for the summer and I can always layer it over um, sweaters and long sleeve shirts that I hopefully will be purchasing um, so this is a really stable piece very simple and it's able to be layered upon so that's awesome my second piece I've had for years and I've always considered throwing it away because I didn't know what to do with it but I never wanted to throw it away because it's so cool um, I wore this a lot fresh my freshman year this I got at, I think it was a dress barn honestly I don't know and for like people who are overseas dress barn is actually not that weird of a place I know it's like a barn it sounds weird but it's not that bad it's mainly for older people though so I don't my, I have my mom and I picked it out but it has this lace on it and it looks really cool and it has in the front I'm gonna have to fix some of the buttons but it comes down and it's asymmetrical so the front is a little bit longer than the back so and it's another sleeveless little number Whoop. there we go and it has like this little ruffly thing and it's just really fun and I feel like it's it's knit and witchy I love knit objects I don't know um, the next thing I have, you've definitely seen before, this is something I got off Store Envy, um, and it's just a really simple moon sweater, this is for like days I don't really feel like doing anything ever, like Tuesdays, and I'll probably wear this with leggings and like a scarf and some boots, so really simple, very, very warm, it's like a normal, it's like one of these kinds of sweaters with like the stretchy bits and it has little spikes on the side which aren't really spiky they're like a rounded dome spike thing but yeah really comfy really warm love wearing it to school because it's just it's wonderful it's like wearing pajamas but you still look put together the next thing I have I've had for again a while but I haven't really worn it in a while because I just haven't um, this is a black long sleeve sweater I have some holes in it because I'm really good at ripping things. It's long sleeves. This is backwards, but as you can see, and it normally goes over my hands like that, but sometimes I'll like roll it up to my elbows and it has like these little ties so you can tie it and stuff. Really simple black little cardigan. Um, I think I got this online off Amazon, not 100% sure, but you could find these anywhere, basically like Target and stuff. Um, the next thing. This I got for my birthday last year. It's a really, one of my, this is actually my favorite sweater ever. It, here, let me put it on. Literally my favorite sweater to exist. Um, it comes down in the front, like, with this cool thing, and it goes over my hands like that. And then it's, like, an asymmetrical, and it's long-sleeved. It's super warm. I love wearing this in the winter because our school temperatures range from freezing and, you know, the North Pole to like like I don't know you're sleeping having a sleepover Satan hot it's ridiculous but most of the time because I'm in the fine arts wing and no one really cares about the fine arts wing except when the kiln's on um it's cold so I like to have that and I can always take it on and off you know no big deal okay the next thing we're almost done with this one so the next thing I got this is actually really recent I got this at Charlotte Russe it's a kimono style um jacket and I got this in extra large because Mori is very about like having very big um, silhouettes kind of and very loose clothing. It has this lace. The reason I got it was for this lace trim. Don't know if you can see that. It looks like a cathedral kind of thing. But it, I don't know. It just reminded me of a cathedral. And it's really fun to wear and I, for some reason I just feel like a librarian. But it's a chiffon kind of sheer fabric. Not very warm. But very fashionable. And finally, this is one of my newest items. My boyfriend got this for me. He saw it, I think, at Ross, which was really surprising because I don't normally go there. But sometimes stores, like brand stores, have pretty nice things. Um, this is another really holy sweater without sleeves. 
you've seen a theme here. Um, I don't know, for some reason this makes me feel like a swamp witch. I don't know if you can see this because I have black on, but it goes like all the way down to my knees. And then you have these things which are optional, you can tie, or at least I tie it, but or you can just let them be free. And I just, I think, I feel like I'm a, like with the holes, I don't know, I just feel like I'm in a swamp or something, which I mean, I kind of live on a swamp, but not with the wetlands, which is kind of close to a swamp really in the winter and then the spring it's kind of disgusting but yeah so that's it um for the most part I would wear um either not probably long sleeve shirts just cotton and I still have to go out and get a couple and order those online so I'll keep you updated So you guys ready for the third and largest part of this entire video? This has gone for like 10 minutes already, I know. Craziness. Um, I'll try to make this fast. This next part are skirts, is skirts and dresses. I have several that I am making and I'm going to have a separate video for that. Um, I have th two or three underskirts and then an overskirt that I'm making. Um, underskirts are kind of self-explanatory. They go under kind of like a petticoat to create like a fuller skirt look um you can pair i pair dress over dress but you can do skirt over dress or skirt under dress and all that um then i have an overskirt which is um really gorgeous actually it's it's i'm wearing it to the renaissance festival but i can pull it off as a daytime look so i'm going to be making a video on either friday maybe yeah i'll do that for gothic fashion friday i'm gonna i love you guys but you're in your i love all of your um like when you guys tell me your suggestions, that's the word I was looking for, but this time I'm going to be doing a medieval gothic look. Just so you know, it's going to go with my renaissance fair look and then I'll have a video about that up on Sunday because that's when I'm going. Um, Sunday night actually, I will have a video. But I digress. The first thing that we have in the skirt and dress category is this little number. Now this is a maxi skirt, very old, my mom gave it to me because I've always had my, my eye on it and she doesn't fit in it anymore. She's too, she's too tiny, which is actually kind of insane, but um, it has like this, I don't know if you can see that, it, there's like a, um, not really a train, but it's like a, the hem is, flares out so when you walk you look like a fairy. This is going to be an underskirt of mine because um, it's kind of a weird length and I don't like to wear it. Um, without a slip and it was from I don't know it's from like the 90s so I really I'm sorry I don't know where I where she got this this was just something that she had and she was like hey do you want it um it's like a chiffon on the outside and then there's like a lining so that's what it is can you hear the clothes as I drop them um this oh okay so this I got at a thrift store uh it's a really simple dress I'm not 100% sure if I'm keeping the buttons or not, because I think they look a little bit tacky. I don't know, but it is just a really simple, a well, asymmetrical dress. And it's actually kind of short. It's a lot shorter than what I was expecting, but I'm going to be layering, layering it over longer skirts. So if it's short in the front, you'll see more of an overskirt and less in the back. Okay, so my camera just kind of died. Well, it didn't die. I ran out of memory on my phone, so I delete, had to delete a couple things. No biggie. Um, so I'm kind of backtracking at the moment. I thought I recorded about five more minutes of video, but it's lost forever. Um, regardless, here's the next dress. This I can't really explain. I don't know why I bought it, but I did, and I quite like it. Um, this is very not goth, but it's rather Mori girl. It's this. I don't know if it's been in another video of mine. I can't remember if I wore this or a different outfit. It's just a little tiny sundress kind of thing and I pulled up the sleeves so you can't really see that too much but it's really nice I like to wear it out with my friends especially if we're going somewhere that's like a little bit less tolerant of the alternative type because I would like not to get rocks thrown at me that would be nice and yes you think I'm kidding but you know the hicks where I have gone just I that's another day that's another video for another day anyways so I would wear that to like a farmer's market or like an antique mall kind of thing um, with a, probably a petticoat and a scarf and like a cardigan so you, the, the flowers are there but I don't know I just feel like it looks kind of innocent. Anyways, 
the next thing is probably a dress you've seen before, definitely a dress you've seen before actually, it was from my summer goth video. Um, this, and I've kind of debated whether or not I was even going to include it in here because of the um, shape of it, but I'm going to probably use it as an over, like an overdress um, paired with an underskirt that I'm making, and yeah, that's fun. Um, so yeah. Um, anyways, moving right along. The next dress we have is, oh, I got the fur, sorry, I got the floral dress at Target, and then the other long maxi dress, I got that at Forever 21 um, in New York. Mm -hmm. um, so this one, this dress is a very simple black maxi dress. I got it at Kohl's, and it has like this kind of thing. It has a slit in it on either side, and it has a pattern. I don't know if you can see that. Is that a thing? Um, very simple, very, like, it looks good on my figure, makes me look really skinny. Um, and then I will probably pair it with either an overskirt or an underskirt. Not 100% sure on that, but we'll find out. Alright, so the next two things are a little bit out there. They're a little bit more classic Mori, which I was talking about, which are like the whites and cream colors. Is someone out there? I don't know. I thought I heard someone knocking on my door. I'm going crazy. Um, these, I'm going to just casually get behind my back. Um, this dress I got at Target a couple years ago and um, don't actually think you can get it anymore, I'm so sorry, but it's this little, this little number, little white dress. Uh, I rarely ever wear white because I don't feel comfortable in it, but that's okay. I sewed some little like stitches on there a little bit a while ago, but they aren't going to show because I'm using this as like a slip kind of dress. Um, it used to have a big black cross on it, and then I figured out that I couldn't fit into it, so that was a mistake on my part. And it just kind of goes on. One of those things, it, and it's asymmetrical little tea dress. It kind of reminds me of like an Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe. I don't know. The next dress I got on eBay, and it still might be up. I'm not 100% sure. It is actually, sorry, um, it is actually a knockoff of a dress I saw on Free People for about $98. I got this for, with shipping, about 26 uh, I just have to wait a little bit because it comes from China, and I understand that people are kind of like, don't order from China, but I don't really care. It looks cool. So, here it is. This is all sorts of, oh, it's upside down. That's why I couldn't figure it out. Hold on. It's just, it's kind of crazy at the moment. All sorts of lacy things going on, isn't there? Alright, there we go. Okay, so it goes, that's back. Okay. It goes like this. It's a tea colored dress. It looks really yellow in this light, but it's kind of more of a beige in real life. I don't know. It gets hot. It's still pretty hot here um, because I live in the south. So um, it gets. It stays hot until about the end of September, and we go back to school in the beginning of September. So this will be good. I can always wear it with an overskirt, an underskirt, or excuse me, with an underskirt. And look at this. This is the main reason I got it. Um, there's just all of these frills, and when I walk, I look like a fairy, so, bonus, fantasticness, other than the price, I mean, like, on top of the price, it's just fantastic. Um, the next thing, oh wait, the next thing I got, uh, it was actually my oldest piece that I have and I still wear today, I got it from Kohl's about four years ago, it's this little maxi dress. Not really little, but it's really, really, really worn. Um, very long, and it has like this. This looks really gross, but um, it's just really old and it's been shoved in so many drawers. Um, it has a little bit of a frill at the bottom, which is fun. Very simple. I would layer this over stuff. So, Target. No, Coles. Sorry, Coles. Four years ago, Coles. Um, the next thing. Is ah this you've definitely seen before? It's a really short little number. I will be layering it over a petticoat or some sort of overskirt. It's this or with leggings. Um, it doesn't have a back, so you would if you were oh wow you can't even see that. It doesn't have a back, so if you were gonna wear it to school for the most part, you'd probably have to wear some sort of sweater over it. Um, this I got at Forever Twenty One in New York with the other dress. Um, next thing we're almost done with this part. I know it's taking forever, but you know what? That's okay. The next thing I have is just a simple black maxi dress. 
Uh, it has a little bit of like a stringy pattern on it, and it's fun to walk in, and it would be, I mean, it could, you could wear it alone or you could wear it as an underskirt. I've done both. It works. The next, and I got that at Target, I think a couple years ago. The next thing I got from a thrift store, um, it's originally by Faded Glory Jeans, which is kind of impressive, or not impressive, surprising, because it's a dress, but, and it has this little pattern on it that reminded me of tapestries, so I got it, it's a maxi dress, this will be going under things, um, and it just, I don't know, it just felt woodsy, and I felt, when I put it on, it felt like Maid Marian, which is kind of what I'm going for, I also felt like a little bit like a peasant, but not in a bad way. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's it. Um, doo -doo -doo, we're almost done. I swear to God. This, I also got at a thrift store, same thrift store. This made me feel like a Native American, kind of, only because it had fringe. I'm not trying to be offensive because I think Native American culture is super cool and I'm incredibly inspired by it. But it's just so comfortable and it has, this will be going over things, it has this fringe at the bottom so when I walk it just goes crazy and it's super comfy. I got this at a thrift store. I think I said that already, but very simple, very classy dress. Very fun to walk in. This next dress, I don't know if I can even start to explain it. This is one of my favorite dresses I've ever gotten. I got this on one of my trips to Italy. I traveled a lot, which, oh god, I sound like such a snobby white rich kid. I travel all the time, but it was really, it was a really great trip. I got to spend some quality time with my parents because my brother wasn't there. He was in Alaska. Um, and this we got at an Italian boutique and it's, it's enormous on me. So I can't really wear it. I normally wear it under things, but it has like this horizontal stripy pattern and it's very long and it's gorgeous. And um, Italy, so I'm not really sure, but I'm sure you could find something like this in most stores. People are like, oh, that doesn't look so special, but it's special to me because of the story behind it. So, clothing. Um, and then third and finally, I'm actually including this. This came from Gothic Fashion Friday, and it's kind of more kind of not really at all, but I still like it, and I was asked to explain it anyways. This dress I got on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure if you can still buy it. Um, it's really funny, I ordered it and I got it in the mail and I wore it to school one day to one of my classes and my other goth friend who um, graduated, she's like, oh my gosh, I just ordered the exact same dress. And she went on the um, field trip with me to New York and we almost wore the same dress. It was really funny. We were both going to wear it to go see Phantom, Phantom of the Opera, in case you guys don't know that, but um, yeah, basically. So it's it's a long chiffon dress and the only thing I don't like is that the front is really see-through, but it's so cool. And I'd probably layer it over a maxi dress. But it's asymmetrical, and when you wear it, you feel like a fairy. Feeling the fantasy. Alright. Okay, so for the fourth and final category, I've decided to sit down because there's lots of little pieces. This is like the accessories portion. I'm just fixing my skirt, being as ladylike as I can possibly can. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right in. The first thing I have is my corset. I let my one of my friends borrow this, so yeah, that's why I haven't seen it in Gothic Fashion Friday. Um, simple corset, and you can lace it and unlace it. There's a zipper on the side. Um, I don't know. It's just, it is what it is. It's a corset. I got it on Amazon. The next thing I also got on Amazon, it's a, another corsety kind of thing. This is a waist cincher. It's like, four dollars I think I think I just remember that because I thought it was so cheap it's because it's cheap the velcro doesn't really stick too much anymore so I have to safety pin it for day wear but it works the next thing is something that was also in gothic fashion Friday last week this lace um, I think actually it was a table runner I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me on that pretty sure it was like one of the things that goes in the middle of the table but I got this from my grandma. It belonged to my great grandma. And she said I could have it because it has a hunt, just tons of holes in it. So I'm turning it into a scarf or like some sort of head thing because no one else is going to use it. But it still smells like my great grandma, which is kind of weird. And I know that sounds weird and it's probably too much information, but it smells like her house and I just get really unnerved, but also very calm. It's calm. I don't know if that makes any sense because I knew my great grandma. 
so like I have memory I don't really know it's it's one of those things I'm incorporating it into my daily fashion okay I have a bunch of random stuff over here so I'm gonna try to do this as quietly as possible just lots of things this you saw in my witchy fashion or witchy can what witchy clarifications video I've gotten a lot of really great um, feedback honestly um, this is a shawl I got at Target a few years ago it has this little fringe it has some more different fringe and it's just a little shawl it's actually surprisingly warm despite how many holes are in it but I like it and it adds a pop of color so it's like carrying a blanket around to school too I don't understand why we don't wear shawls anymore because it's wonderful okay so the next thing I'm going to kind of move on to are my gloves and these are just little skeletony gloves I got these on Amazon for like eight dollars from I think it was dysfunctional doll actually don't quote me on that, but they're a little just, and I, these are really great, especially if I'm doing a photo shoot or just doing something having to do with drawing or like using my fingers because it's like creepy gothic, but at the same time, I still have use of my hands. So these are wonderful. They don't really keep your fingers warm. So if you were looking for that, get gloves, but if you need your fingers, you're good. Um, okay. I have a couple scarves. This one you've probably seen before. Fringe. I think, honestly, okay, this is a shock a lot of people. I'm like 98% sure I got this at Air Apostle. Um, and it just, I think, I, I don't know. I don't remember actually where I got this, but I'm like 90% sure it was there. Changing numbers. Um, the next thing I have, have ooh, oh, probably saw a bunch of stuff, but everything's just getting caught to it. This is gray scarf, very fun, very floofy. It does this, has this really cool movement. It does stuff. Simple scarf. And then finally, what, or no, not finally for scarves. Sorry, this one I got at World Market. It is, has like Buddhist sayings on it and it might, it's upside down. Uh, one of my friends actually got me this for Christmas. World Market, one of my favorite scarves. I wear it all the time. It's literally my favorite thing in the entire world. So soft, so versatile do basically anything with it you could even hang it up on your wall and it would be gorgeous <sighs> finally my finally this is my skeleton scarf it's an infinity scarf I got this at Charlotte Russe has little floral skulls on it and it goes well not really floral but like textured and it goes with those leggings I've decided it goes with those leggings I don't think they were bought at separate times so I wouldn't know all right so now I'm moving into accessories this is actually kind of a sneak peek. This one, I'm actually really excited to show you. Um, this is a sneak peek for what I'm wearing to the Renaissance Festival. I have this little flower crown thing, and it looks like a wreath at the moment, really. But it goes on your head like that. And I'm probably not going to wear this daily, but it's kind of like foresty. It has like all sorts of little autumn leaves and sunflowers and other flowers and then some blue flowers. So it's kind of a sneak peek as to what my color scheme is. Pew! Um, okay, so I'm going to move into jewelry. I'm going to save the best for last. So, huh. Um, this is just a little bangle with a bunch of buttons on it. Buttons! And, ah, oh, everything is tangled. No! No! I'm going to have to untangle this from camera. Alright, this next piece I got at an antique store in Maryland. It is actually, it doesn't look very, like interesting or intricate but this little flower my friend is made out of a bone so more than meets the eye little bone flower super that should, I feel like that would be my uh like tribe name bone flower that would be really cool actually um I have these antique looking rings everyone's seen my scissor ring everyone has seen this like this this was given to me as a gift. This was from my great grandma and on my mom's side, on my mom, my grandma's mother. And this was given to me by my grandfather's mother. So this has a little Buddha guy. Well, not Buddha, the fat, happy man, because they're different. I don't know if, but it, she made this herself, which is kind of cool because this used to be on like a bracelet or something, which is why it has holes in it. It has little flowers on the side with, uh, not epoxy, but some sort of, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it has little flowers on it, and I wear it all the time because it has jade, and I think it's 
coming. Um, next thing I have, I have to open up a little bag to see if I can get them out. These are actually not, again, not earrings I would wear on a daily basis because I only really wear two earrings. Like, we have one in this ear that I always have in. And that's my triquetra, which is like the internal, like, Google it. Um, and then I have another dangly earring that I'll wear that has a quartz crystal in it. So this one is a black pearl and a diamond, and I got these. These are really special, which is why I keep them in here with my other really special jewelry. Um, I got those for my 16th birthday last year, and I just, those I wouldn't really wear, but they're like a natural stone kind of thing, so I figured I would keep them with me in this, in this haul. This is such a long video, I'm so sorry. Um, this I got at the Outer Banks. It says one planet, one people, and like some weird word font. I don't know if it's probably going to be backwards, but if not, even better. Um, it's two pieces of wood on a string and it's adjustable, but I just wear it as a long pendant. Fun, and people always come, it's really fun to play with, like clicking it. I don't know, it's just one of those things. Um, I have, as usual, my, oh, if I could get it untangled. Um, I have my key necklace, which I'm currently attaching with a safety pin, which is not safe. I told you this, children. Um, my key, which is, like, changed colors. It used to be silver, but now it's, like, a weird bronze color. I don't know. Chemistry, I guess. And then I have this necklace that someone gave to me for Christmas last year, and it has these really cool rocks on it. And it's awesome, and it has wire, and I like to wear it. It's super fun, very natural, stone-ish. I have a bunch of random, like, bangle kind of things that are copper. And this one has turquoise in it, but it's missing a stone, so ignore that. So those are fun, really easy stuff just to throw on. I have a feather earring, and I, I normally just wear one in this ear, and then again with the stud. And then I have this... Which I think says, oh no, it says love on it, which has, like, I guess, it's, like, little, whoop, rocks. Fun, natural stones. And finally, my favorite, the creme de la creme of my accessories. And watch, my camera will shut off right now. Um, this I made, this is a rosary-inspired, I guess. It's not really a rosary rosary, because it's nothing to do with Christianity. But, um, I made this myself after just playing around with bones. I used some of the bones that I got from the Eager Bones order that I placed. Um, so it's like a worry bead slash prayer bead rosary that I made with necklaces, and, or with, excuse me, with bones. And instead of a cross crucifix at the end, I have uh, my coyote jaw. So wire wrapped coyote, I'm going to just kind of like put it across the screen and it has little skeleton faces on them. And I made this myself. Took me, like, several hours. Um, there's a little atlas bone and some feather beads. Like, fake feathers. And then I have a little vertebral. I believe this is, like, lumbar. I believe this is a lumbar. I could be wrong. And here's a little thoracic. I, and I could be getting those completely mixed up. I don't know. I'm not a raccoon expert. Uh, and then it closes. And then this is ridiculously long. But... It's, I, I don't know, I just feel comforting and I can just play with the beads whenever I have, like, anxiety or anything. Which is a lot more frequently than I would like to admit. But, one of my favorite pieces and I think something that ties together most of my outfits. So hopefully I'll be wearing a lot more often. The wires, I'm going to have to go through and kind of trim some of them because they're kind of pokey. Because it was, it was kind of ridiculous how I had to make it to make it look authentic. Those are my knees. Okay, so... That's it. I know. That's it, you know. Um, but that's it. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, let me know if you want to see. Uh, most of this will probably be in my lookbook. Um, not all of it, because that would be kind of excessive. Much like this video. It's probably like 30 minutes long. Um, but yeah, that's me. This is kind of my dark mori. This is basically my wardrobe. So I basically have no clothing in these anymore. They're all out on my floor because... I was showing them to you. Uh, I mean, obviously, I have t-shirts and, like, random, like, pajamas and stuff that you guys don't really need to see. But, 
yeah, so I will see you probably sometime during the week. Uh, I will probably be filming something where I have to get off, get it all off my chest. Just talk. Because when I talk, I, like, escape my problems. I don't know if that makes sense or if that makes sense to anyone else. Uh, like, when I'm talking about something, I escape whatever else is going on. Um, but I will definitely be, be filming Gothic Fashion Friday this week. Definitely be doing that. Um, I might, I'm probably going to be doing a back to school haul and showing you like what I got for back to school stuff because that starts, start, school for me starts after Labor Day this year, which is actually kind of fantastic. Um, starts September 2nd. So any of you who are going back to school this, like now, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> that sucks, but you probably get out earlier than I do. And, um, best of luck. I hope you all have a really good school year. Um, if you guys are like me and are starting to apply for university or like to college and stuff, good luck. Uh, breathe. You're gonna do great. I love you all. Um, I really hope you guys like this video. I'm again. I'm sorry it was so long. I didn't think it was gonna be this long, but I just continue to talk and talk and talk. Um, anyways, if you have, again, as always, if you have any questions, if you um, I don't know anything at all, want to talk to me just want to talk to me you can see me here you send me a message you can send me a message on tumblr on instagram you can even i i snapchat people i do snapchat back and i will con i will carry on a conversation with you because i'm lonely i sit in my room and make videos it's all i do no i'm kidding but um yeah that's basically it uh i'll see you all later and i hope you all have a good night bye